Hi guys and welcome back to our chakra yoga series. Today we're going to be working with the second chakra um, and doing a flow associated with this um, second or sacral chakra. In Sanskrit this chakra is called Svadhisthana which literally translates to mean self-dwelling. Um, so it is the center of our body that houses our emotions, our creativity, our desires, um, and also our intuition. It's where we get kind of the expression of gut feelings. Um, so we'll be working with this area of the body. It's associated with our stomach, our low back, our hips, our pelvis, um, and doing a little flow that inspires that intuitive movement practice. So I'll be asking you to flow at your own um, creative expression. So making the poses your own. Um, we'll be learning a flow and kind of repeating it through the class so that you can kind of get the hang of it and flow intuitively by the end of the practice. Unlike Muladhara or the root chakra, which is more earth energy and grounding, this chakra focuses on water and a lot of our movements will reflect that watery kind of fluid practice today. So you're going to be moving and um, breathing throughout the practice. There's not going to really be a sense of stopping. So that being said, we're going to come to our back and get started just lying down in reclined bound ankle to start with. And so when you come to your back, I'm going to bring the soles of the feet together, lowering yourself down and just take a moment and let your hips settle into a loose diamond shape. And we're going to take our hands and make the same kind of diamond shape with our hands so that the pointer finger and the thumb are touching and we're going to place it right underneath our navel pointing down towards the pubic bone and allowing your hands to rest there focusing on that sacral second chakra area Continue breathing and expanding the second chakra area of the body, sacral chakra. Continue breathing into this area of the body, this lower belly area. Notice where you can soften. When the breath is coming in and out like a wave. And see if you can pay attention to your pelvic floor. Since the pelvis is one of the areas of focus for our class today. When we breathe in, the diaphragm in our lungs expands down into our belly and expands outward. And so does our pelvic floor area. So as we breathe in, the diaphragm in the lungs expands and also into the pelvic floor. All of those small little muscles expand down and out. And as you exhale, they contract just slightly and lift up and in with the diaphragm. Inhaling to relax into the pelvic floor, expand it, widen the hips. And as you exhale, contract just slightly, narrowing the hips, and drawing everything up and in. One more deep breath, again, expanding downward, to where your fingers are pointing. Exhale, soften. Draw everything in and up. 
And from here, we're gonna press the soles of the feet together. Bring the knees in, the feet to the floor. And then just giving yourself a nice big squeeze. Hug the knees and really close tight to the chest. Breathe into them, feeling your belly press against the thighs. Exhale, contract, press the air out, the back flattening against the floor. One more big breath in. Exhale, draw the knees in, hugging a little closer. And then we're just gonna rock ourselves up and down the spine from here. So grab the backs of your legs, give yourself a little rock up towards your seat, and then roll back. And we'll just do that a couple more times, up and down the spine to kind of get you energized and flowing. The next time you come up, see if you can hold your feet off of the mat, bringing the heels together, lift the chest, and balancing between the space of your sit bone and your tailbone. Feeling a little bit of fire in that lower belly area. And maybe tapping the toes down to the mat. And then keep holding onto the backs of the thighs. We're gonna straighten one leg at a time. Imagine your legs are just kind of pedaling down to the ground, contracting the quad. And again, finding that little bit of heat in the lower belly. Sitting up as tall as you can, keeping that long spine. Let's just do three, two, one. Good, bring the soles of the feet together. And just allowing yourself to fall forward. And then big inhale, rolling the spine back up. I'm gonna come into a few twists from here. So setting the feet wide on the mat, hands back behind you, and you're just gonna roll your hips back and forth a little bit here. Again, getting that full rotation. And then see if you can take this movement and just use your hips and your core to move. So let go of the hands, moving side to side. And then once your knees roll over to the left side again, rock your whole body back to the left. Plant your hands shoulder width apart and just take a little bow, bending at the elbows. Inhale, roll back up. Move the knees over to the right side. Hands to the back behind you to the right. Shoulder width apart and bow again. Take this movement again, big circle over to the left and bow. Roll the arms over to the right, bow again. And come back to the center, place your feet flat to the floor, hands back behind you, toes, uh, fingers facing toes and lift the pelvis, stretching the tailbone towards the knees. Big inhale to lift, press through the soles of the feet a little bit more, activate the glutes, the thighs. Exhale, peel your hips back down and move them over into a tabletop position on your hands and knees. Now, we'll do a couple rounds of cat and cow, but a little bit differently. So we're gonna focus on the movement in the hips and starting the movement from the hips. So tucking the tailbone under, low back, mid back, upper back lifts, head drops. And then lead with the tailbone, lift the tailbone, sway the belly, move the heart and head forward. Again, from your hips, rolling it back. See if you can hover your hips above your heels. And then inhale, lift the tailbone, scoop the heart and the head forward. One more time, round and two, 
low back, mid, upper. Push the hips back towards the heels. And then rolling forward, leading from the hips. I'm gonna take this movement and um, come into downward dog. So lift the toes, spread out the fingers, activate your hands. See if you can imagine your sit bones flaring wide. And then on your inhale, move from the pelvis, roll your body forward into plank. Head goes left, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, move from the hips, leading tailbone, belly, ribs, chest, head. One more time. Roll it out to plank, look out to the top of the mat. Lead from the tailbone, lift the hips, press the belly, ribs, chest, head, gaze goes back last. Take a couple of moments in downward dog just to walk out your heels, walk out your feet, stretch your legs. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, lower the knees back down to the floor, taking back into child's pose. Again, you can come into child's pose at any time. We are gonna continue our movement practice. So there won't be a lot of opportunity for, um, I won't cue child's pose quite a bit. So if you need to take it at any time, you can. One more deep breath in. Try to inflate your low back. Exhale, move yourself back up into that tabletop position. And then rolling forward so the hands are in line with the heart. Let the chest come down, chaturanga. Hands are gonna go wide, maybe even off of the mat. And see if you can bring just your fingertips to the floor. On your inhale, draw your shoulders back. Elbows lift, see if you can come up, maybe just a couple inches. Exhale, rolling down and forward. Forehead back to the mat. Inhale, shoulders roll back, chest lifts up. Maybe you just come up here or press up towards your fingertips. Again, nice wide hands. Exhale, roll from the center all the way down. Do that one more time, just rolling slowly up into Cobra, into any variation or height, and then lowering back down. Good, slide the hands back by the hips, interlock the fingers, lift and pull the chest up into Locust Pose, activate the spine, activate the legs, maybe lift the toes. Another breath in, engage your core, your entire back body. Exhale, lower down, hands back by the heart. Press yourself up into tabletop or plank. Exhale, move the hips up and back, downward dog. <sighs> Inhale, lift the right leg up. Bend and stack open the hips from here, making big circles, rotating out that right hip. Flex into your right foot, engage that leg. A nice big circle, so the opposite direction. Really move the full range around that hip. The next time your leg goes up, hold it here. Exhale, bring it all the way up to meet the top of the mat. Plant the back heel down in line with the front heel. Come up, warrior two. Sink down into the front thigh. Catch your breath, sink a little bit lower if you can. Palms lift up. Inhale, reach the arms, straighten the front leg. Exhale, pulling back down your warrior two. And this is where you can be kind of creative with your arms. You can reach the arms up, maybe bring them out to the sides. Or you can inhale, reach the arms up, 
and come through your center all the way to the top. Exhale, sink down. Again, whatever feels right with your arms. Imagine pushing that air out, gathering it up, focusing on that lower core center as you do this. Inhaling to exhaling. One more time, inhale up, exhale, sink low, hold it, good, and then we're going to take and flip the right palm up, reach right hand up and towards the sky, a little reverse warrior, straighten out your front leg, lift your right toes, bring your right hand forwards and up still, and we're going to come down through center. So wide-legged twist, left arm to sky. Bend into the left knee. We're gonna bring the left toes to the back of your mat now. See if you can sink down into Skandasana or one-legged squat. Maybe your right toes lift up. You can keep your hand on the floor. You can keep your hand, elbows on your thighs. You can come all the way down. Whatever feels nice for your body there. And then make sure that you're pressing into the pinky toe edge side of your left foot. Maybe bring your hands up to your heart if you can. And from whatever level you're at with the, um, with the leg, push into the pinky toe edge side of the foot. Come up back into warrior two on your right foot. So turning the back toes with you. Exhale, cartwheel the hands back down to the mat, step back, down dog. And take a little flow of vinyasa between. Move from your hips. Big breath in, lift the left leg high, bend the knee, stack open the hips. And then taking some big hip circles with this left knee all the way around the joint. Stay engaged and again into that space below the navel. So we're still hugging that space in. And then reverse the direction of the circles. Take that knee up high. Slowly bring it forward. Meet the top of the mat. Come up warrior two on the left side. Good. Sink into your left front thigh. Knee over ankle. and then moving with the arms. Again, in any expression that you choose, inhale, lift up, straighten the front leg, exhale, sinking down. Inhale again. Exhale, sink. And keep breathing. Moving at your own pace. And get that energy up, that fluid momentum, the arms, sinking it with the legs, whole body working in unison. The next time you bring your arms up and sink back into our warrior two, wrap the right hand to the back thigh, left arm overhead. Lift your left toes up, bring the left foot parallel with the right foot, and then stretch the left fingertips up and come down through center, coming into your wide-legged forward fold again, taking a twist, right arm to sky, equal pressure in both feet, and then turn your right toes to the back of the mat, sink down to skandasana, maybe the left toes lift up, you can, again, always be up here. You can plant the toes if you need to. Okay, so any variation of your one-legged squat, maybe bring your hands to your heart. Try to aim your right heel towards the ground and press into the pinky toe edge side of your right foot. We're gonna come up into the warrior two on the left side. Big inhale, push up. Sink into front thigh again. Reach forward, come down, cartwheeling the arms back to down dog. Breath in, 
rolling forward to plank from the hips, leading your heart forward slowly. Push forward through the balls of the feet, slow lower, down, chaturanga. Inhale to come to cobra. Exhale, rolling over the toes, back into down dog. I'm gonna do that again, right leg high. Bend the knee, stack open the hips. Exhale, big step up. Planting the back foot, come up warrior two. Right foot forward, sink in. Inhale, sweep the arms up, straight in front leg. Press to the ball mount of the foot, come back into warrior two. Gonna keep breathing, two more rounds. One last time, breathe in. Exhale. Holding, flowing up, reaching and extending both arms to the sky, lift the right toes, bring them forward, reach the right fingertips a little higher and guide them down. Left arm stays to the sky and twist. Turn your left toes to the corner of your mat, sink down, skandasana. Hands to your heart. Hands to your heart. Weight to the pinky toe edge side of that left foot. Back up, warrior two. Exhale, hands back down, step back. To back into down dog. Inhale, roll the body forward. If you want to skip this vinyasa, you can. You always have that option to come back into child's pose if you need it. Otherwise, slow hover down to the mat. Scoop up into cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. Left leg lifts high. Bend the knees, stack open. And bring that left foot up carefully to meet the top of the mat. Plant the back heel down, come up warrior two. Sink low. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the front leg straight. Exhale, sink down. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, keep breathing. Try to just close your eyes. Flow with your breath here. Let the arms be whatever natural movement feels good to you. And then as you reach the arms back up to the sky, take a pause, lift the left toes, replace them parallel with the right. Lift the left fingertips high, exhale, pivot, left hand to floor, reach the right hand to sky. Twist, right toes out, corner of the mat, sink down, skandasana. And we're working up a little bit of heat, a little bit of flow, get that water element. Edge of the right foot, presses into the mat, propel yourself into warrior two. Nice, cartwheel the arms down, take a flow again, or take child's pose for a little break. Coming out to plank, slow, hover down, breathe into cobra, or any other back extension. All right, let's sink back, come into puppy pose for a moment. Let the arms stretch out, tailbone lifts to sky. If you want to, you can even bend your elbows and send your hands back behind your head. One more breath. And then stretch your arms back out. Slowly roll yourself up to stand. Nice inhale at the top, hands back behind your kidneys. Lightly press the hips forward, lift the chest. Camel pose. Exhale, come back to sit to your heels. 
If hero's pose is uncomfortable, you can take seated or on your bottom. I'm just kind of recovering here for a moment. If you want to do that flow one more time to give yourself some heat, you can. If you don't really have the time, no big deal. We're going to go to the next part of the class. So I'm coming back up into down dog. Lift your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw the right knee towards the left arm. So twisting. Then kick the foot out to the left side of your mat and flex into that right foot nice and hard. Good. And then we're going to just sink the hips a little bit here. So nice wide hands on the mat. Sink the hips just enough to get that stretch on the outside of the glutes. And then slowly let your hips come all the way down. And you're going to extend or you're going to sit down into a straddle. So let your legs get wide. Straddle position. And then when you're ready, we're just going to roll over to the left side. So keep the feet flexed, roll to the left. This is where we're getting off our mat a little bit and then roll back to the right. So we're compressing into the outside of the leg. Okay. So you can just do that a couple more times, just rolling back and forth on your hips. And as you do that, maybe you lean in a little bit more to the side. If it feels natural for you here, you can start to lean to the left and then bring your chest down towards the floor. Maybe even that right, the legs spin behind you, so you come onto your belly, and then you lift your chest, come up to cobra. Again, off the mat a little bit, but that's part of that water element, that creativity, intuitive flow. Exhale, lower the belly, chest. And then to come back into our, our uh, straddle, bend your right knee, kick the foot up, and reach it back behind you to come back up into that straddle position. Good. Nice. Roll yourself to the right side, to the right foot again. So we're coming back into a fallen triangle. Hands plant down right where we were. Slide the right foot back to meet the left. Downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Kick the foot out to the right side, edge of the mat. So flex into that foot nice and hard. Widen out your hands. And then just slowly sink your pelvis towards the ground a little bit to get that stretch. Once your pelvis starts to tap and hit the ground, Roll yourself back into your straddle. Lift your chest up. And then exhale, roll to the right leg. Reach to the side. Maybe that left foot comes up. And slide it back over to the left. Lean to the left. Compress into the outside of the leg. One more time to each side. And then as you come to the right side, again, hold it. This is where we're going to come to our belly. Slide your legs back behind you. Take a big lift up into Cobra or any spinal extension. Exhale, lower back down to come back up. Bend your left knee. Kick your left foot up. Stretch it back behind you. Come back to sit. Straddle position. Hold it. Tip yourself forward. Nice deep breath. And 
And begin to come all the way back up. Reposition yourself to the left side again. So come to the top of your mat. Bring that right foot back behind you. Back into a fallen triangle, hands plant. Kick the left foot back, down dog. Big breath in here. And exhale, lower the knees. Come back to child's pose. If you want to take one last flow, you can. Soften your breath. And then when you're ready, I'm going to come back up. One last little stretch here. Bring your right knee up to meet your right wrist. Left leg is going to extend back into pigeon pose. Take a big lift up, pressing into the palms of the hands or the fingertips. And exhale, just melt gently. Bring the elbows wide. Let the belly come down softly. Do that one more time, just rolling up. Slowly press the thighs into the ground, lift to the chest. Exhale from the navel, rolling forward, letting the belly, chest, head drop. Breathing in, moving like water. Exhale, rolling, peeling down. I'd slowly rise back up. And your next inhale, plant the hands. Slide that right foot back to meet the left. Maybe rock your hips out, make some circles there. And then move the left knee up to meet the left wrist. Slide the right leg back. And wide palms or wide fingertips, press into the ground, activate your thighs, flex your left foot, and then from the navel center, rolling forward, leading. Inhale, roll up from the navel. Head moves last. Move from the base of your spine. Keeping it going. like a wave. Next time that you come up, reach and rise, chest to the sky. Slide that left foot back, moving the hips. Big circular motion again. Wonderful. So from here, we're just gonna come down onto our back to end our practice. You bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a little squeeze. And allowing yourself to fall into any position that's comfortable for you. Notice your back hit the ground. Softening the belly, breathing into that space, lower abdomen. Repeating back these words of affirmation. Inhaling the words. I am open. Exhaling the words to the flow of life. Inhaling, I am open. Exhaling to the flow of life. Just a couple more times repeating that affirmation. I am open to the flow of life.
Allowing yourself to either stay here or gently roll off to the side and come up to a seat. Finding that lower belly space, maybe even placing the hands onto it. Honoring your intuition, your creativity, your desires. And allowing yourself to stay open here in this space. Open to the flow of life. And open to inspiration. To other people. Take one more deep breath, pressing into the hands. Exhale, sigh it out, make it audible. Ah, let it go. Thank you for joining. Namaste.